forgive and forget. Now, there's a huge difference between the two. And let me just briefly explain it. Why do we forgive? Because we're supposed to. That's what my dad told me. That's what my mom told me. My pastor told me I had to forgive. Why else? It's a good answer. But to, heal. to heal is the only reason. The only reason John would ever forgive Richard for offending him is for John. That's the only reason. It's a very selfish and designed to be way. Because he doesn't want to carry the consequences of my behavior on him for the rest of his life. Otherwise, he's renting space to me. He's renting his happiness to me because I will control him the rest of his life if he doesn't forgive me. Does that make sense? What is forget? <laughs> Have you ever been told, just forget it, let it go? It's impossible. Mm -hmm. We can't forget anything that's ever happened to us. Just try. Forget simply means, in these terms, you forget the pain associated with the trauma that happened to you. So if I was hurt at age five, I can go back to five in my memory, but I'm no longer feeling the pain associated with that event. Now imagine what it would be like for someone who's had multiple traumas through their life to go back and take away the bias or the pain associated with the trauma, see them as neutral. What happens then is their experiences change because the trauma is gone. If the experience is different, then they have a different set of beliefs about life. If they have a different set of beliefs, they have a different behavior. And now, all of a sudden, they're starting to get to that place of integration, where they're not being triggered every time they walk down the street. Um, there are people who walk into their family and get triggered. They walk into the in-laws, they get triggered. They walk into their church, they get triggered. And then there's workplace bullying. They walk into their office, they get triggered. There are people who will get out on Monday morning before their foot hits the pavement in their car. They're triggered because they know what's going to happen when they walk in the office, right? What happens if you can remove that bias so they're no longer getting triggered just thinking about it? Every time someone gets triggered, that's a, an indication that they've got post-trauma stress. To think it's anything other than that is not to understand the science. PTSD simply means something happened to you earlier and now it's coming back to you in spades, if you will, in the memory banks of your subconscious and your body will feel it. Your brains are all designed to connect. As soon as you go like this and you're starting to feel the stress, I feel it here, some people feel it here. So ask yourself, where do you feel it when things aren't going well? Some people feel it here. Depending on what it is, is depending on where you feel it.